Good afternoon, RHS. I'm Macy. And I'm Kenzie. And this is your Daily Dose for Thursday, April 6, 2023. Cue the intro. It is National Assistant Principals Week, and here at RHS, we have three of the best APs around. Mrs. Whitovich, Mr. Hickey, and Mr. Schley work hard every day to keep RHS running smoothly. When you see them this week, thank them and wish them a happy Assistant Principals Week. Wynette Tees has another Flavor of the Month shirt available. Dear person behind me, you make a world a better place. The shirt features a chest and back design in white ink on neutral color shirts. This is for anyone and everyone. Let's spread kindness. All orders must be placed online by April 30th. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Comiskey. Go to accidenttees.com slash flavor of the month to order. Choir recently had a competition. Asia found out how it went. What's up, RHS? I'm Asia Washington with YTV, and I interviewed people about the choir concert last week. When did the conference take place? Um, it took place last week, Thursday. How did you prepare for the event? We did a lot of practicing for the specific songs that we were going to do. So we would just like practice our songs like every day for like the whole hour and we would go into sectionals with our um, sections. So like sopranos would go with their own section, basses would go with their own section. So we would just do that and then we'd come back as one. What did the conference consist of? What was it about? So basically, we went to a different school, we went to Woodhaven, and we performed in front of judges, and they scored us based on five different categories. And then after we were scored, a judge came in, and they basically told us what we could improve on, what we did well. How did you guys do? We did really good. Um, it was, I think, a scale of one to four, four being the worst, one being the best, and both a cappella and concert choir got ones. What do you think was the best part about the concert? Uh, just being able to know what other people think about us. Um, I think the clinician was really important, like the part where the judges came and told us what we were doing well and what we needed to fix, because it's just good to get a different perspective. What do you think you could have done better? Maybe not be scared. It was very nerve-wracking, but like, I've done this for like mostly my whole life, so I shouldn't be that scared, but it was definitely nerve-wracking, but we did really good. Great job, guys. I hope you guys do great on your next concert. I'm Asia Washington with YTV, reporting to you. Testing week will be starting next week. Next Wednesday, 9th graders will take the PSAT, and on Thursday, 10th graders will take their PSAT. Juniors have a busy week of testing with the SAT on Wednesday, work keys on Thursday, and MSTEP on Friday. Because of testing, sophomores will have no school Wednesday, and freshmen don't have school Thursday. Seniors are both off Wednesday and Thursday. Monday and Tuesday will be regular schedule for all four grades. The RHS Quiz Bowl team had a competition yesterday. They beat Crestwood in the semifinals and took a close loss to Carlson in the finals. Zach Jackson and Sam Bove are the two seniors on the team that played a big part in the success of the team season. Great job this year, Quiz Bowl. All freshmen and sophomores need to check the glass trophy cases by the main doors to see their PSAT testing location. Your name will also be on a list outside the classroom door where you will be testing. Those lists will be posted near those classroom doors this Thursday. Be sure you know where you are headed before you have your PSAT. The movie Avatar came out a few weeks ago. Ryan Pente is going to give us an inside scoop on it. What's up, Arches? Have any of you been to the movies recently? Well, I'm going to be reviewing the hit movie, Avatar The Way of Water. The Way of Water is a sequel to the 2009 blockbuster movie, Avatar, which is directed by James Cameron. The movie picks up a couple years after the events of the first home, and it features the protagonist, Jake Sully, raising family with his, nice, with his wife, and Tiri. The movie features amazing visual effects, beautiful cinematography, and a suspenseful plot that will keep viewers on their feet. The movie is also very emotional, and dramatic with tons of great action scenes, important messages, and great character development. This movie is an emotional roller coaster to say the least. It captures the essence of life throughout family and companionship, and also gets into darker themes like revenge and loss. And for the movie starring CGI aliens, 
they have all the human emotions to make them relatable to the audience. This film is such an experience that it makes you feel like you're there, especially if you watch it in 3D. The movie CGI is so impressive that it looks very real, and despite being three hours long, the pacing of the film is very consistent. Personally, I love this movie and would recommend it to anyone who loves sci-fi action movies. I'm Ryan Pente from YTV News, now back to you. Theater students have been hard at work preparing for the spring musical, The Addams Family. The show will run April 20th through the 22nd at 7 p.m. all three nights. Be sure to attend to support this hardworking cast and crew. Attention seniors, prom tickets for the Fire and Ice prom dance will be on sale starting next Friday, April 14th through Friday, May 5th for $70 in Mrs. Doyle's office. Guest passes will be available starting today until Monday, May 1st in the front office or LMC. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Mrs. Curdy in the LMC. Attention seniors who played football at RHS, there are two scholarships available for you. The Alumni Football Club will sponsor scholarships for graduating varsity football players with a minimum of 2.5 GPAs who have been admitted to, into a university, college, or trade school. Interested students must submit an essay along with a letter of recommendation from a coach, teacher, or counselor by May 1st. Also, the Gene Knowles Scholarship is available to a current grad who earned at least one varsity award for football while in high school. Pick up scholarship information in the athletic office for both scholarships. And good luck to Varsity Baseball who plays Flat Rock today at 4.30 and Varsity Softball who plays at John Glenn. Hey Kenzie, what's the third planet from the sun? Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> Harmony asks a few people some quick trivia questions. You have 45 seconds to answer eight questions, okay? If you don't know one, you could say pass and we'll come back to it at the end if you have time. All right. Ready? Set, go. Okay. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. What is Taylor Swift's lucky number? 13. What is the most common last name? Smith. What's the third planet from the sun? Mercury. What's the third planet from the sun? Pass. What's the third planet from the sun? Earth. What shoe did Cinderella leave at the ball, the right or the left? Right. What shoe did Cinderella leave at the ball, right or left? Right. What reindeer does Santa have? Nine. What's an eight-sided shape called? <laughs> Pass. What's an eight-sided shape called? An octagon. What month is National Ice Cream Month? June. <laughs> what month is National Ice Cream Month? March. Bruh. What month is National Ice Cream Month? July. Um, how many weeks are in a year? 52. Uh, what's an eight-sided eight shape called? <laughs> an octagon. Jupiter. You're out of time. Right. Oh, wait, Just an octagon. An octagon. Brother. Santa also has nine reindeer. Bro, I was thinking about that because the one in the front. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Remember, there's no school tomorrow. If you show up, no one will be here, so enjoy sleeping in. That is all for today, RHS. Have a great day.